All right, let's do this. Without the camera. Oh, <laughs> forgot I rigged it up there. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. How to rig the camera for overhead shots, shooting straight down. Welcome to another episode of Pull My Focus, Adventures in the World of Video Filmmaking. I'm sure you've seen those straight down beauty shots of food prep and craft work and probably thought, I'd like to do that, but all you have is a tripod. No problem. One way I've seen it done is to point the camera straight down at the floor and throw down some cutting boards or a fake tabletop. Simple solution, the problem with this is, you gotta get down on the floor to work the shot. You could use your tripod on top of the table, lengthen the back leg and tie it off to get the camera a little further out. The problem with this is the camera and tripod are now attached to the table that you're working on. Shake the table and you shake the camera. So, I'm gonna show you some tricks from the grip world as alternatives to using a tripod when you're shooting straight down. With a DSLR or a camcorder, we know we're working with a standard, which is the receiving end of a tripod screw. A quarter inch 20, which is a quarter inch diameter screw with a 20 thread count. So let's use this standard to our advantage. This bolt size is a standard size available at any hardware store. Here I have a long quarter inch bolt that's threaded only on the end and a nut to go with it. I'll attach the bolt to the camera, careful not to force it too far, which could damage the camera body, and tighten the nut to hold it in place. Careful not to over tighten that as well. Now I'll rig the arm out and grab the non-threaded section of the bolt in the grip head. You may want to use a shim or a wedge to offset the thickness of the bolt. I use a bubble level to check if I'm level, then adjust by eye later. If you need more flexibility, you can do the exact same thing with a tripod head. Here I have one from a tabletop skateboard rig that also takes the same quarter inch bolt size. By using the tripod mount, I have a bit more flexibility in how I position the camera. Note that you may need to sandbag the hell out of your C-stand, not only to protect your camera from tipping over, but also to reduce camera shake. But what if you need a little bit more room in the shot and the C-stand's getting in the way? You could work from the other side. But if you're doing a demo where you're actually in the shot, you'll have to reverse and flip your image and post. I guess that's fine. But also, as you can see here, I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of standing in my light. An alternative is to build what we call a goal post across the table using two C-stands and a one by two or one by three inch piece of batten. It's a bit more stable than the C-stand rig and has less potential for shake. I'll rig it lengthwise across the table with an eight foot long piece. I'll drill two holes in either end with a 3 8 inch spade bit to slip it onto the grip head bolt, which is obviously 3 8 and lock it in place. Then I'll drill a quarter inch hole wherever I need to position my camera. The true thickness of a one by two inch batten is actually three quarter inch. One inch is the original thickness of the rough wood before they planed it down. I'll use a one inch quarter inch bolt with a washer. Now I can either go right into the camera or for more control, use that same tripod head. Now I'm using mini C-stands for this demo, but you can use standard C-stands if you need to get more height, kind of like I'm doing here to get this shot. Thanks for watching, check out our other videos, and if you like what you see, subscribe to get notifications of our other videos that are coming up like how to steady tight insert shots, like of a hand or a cell phone.